Hey YouTube, welcome to our game review for Clash of Clans update of May the 22nd. It's me, Benito Juarez, that's my gameplay name, and my son, um, he is Valenzuela. We're gonna go over to his um, base first, and we're gonna talk about a little bit about what uh, what we think about the, uh, the update from today. I'm not gonna tell you that I read everything about the, the update, and I, I'm an expert or anything like that. I'm just gonna give you my feel for it. I've been playing Clash of Clans three years. My son's been playing with me three years. He's on and off, but he's lately been putting a lot of time into it. He's uh, really enjoying um, this update. But um, let, let's let's talk about what's going on. So, um, Valenzuela, what what do you th what do you think right now about this update? How do you what do you what do you notice that it's different? Well, what I notice is the, there's definitely new uh, defense. See, you have the double cannon, which is really helpful because it shoots bullets uh, way faster and shoots like at least four from each cannon. And then there's the short, there's the long, to uh, the long range uh, archer tower and the short range tower. I personally like the short range because it shoots way faster and kills things faster. Then there's also some more traps, uh, new uh, special abilities and gem collectors, new heroes, and a time clock. Yeah, and, and we, we're nowhere close to uh, getting any of those um, gem collectors and stuff like that, but um, but we have been playing it and we do notice a few differences just on the gameplay itself. Uh, what I'm noticing, like you said, the different look, the different, um, look different. It's kind of the same concept still as the, uh, as the previous Clash of Clans um, bases or defense but still it's there's a, a twist to it that I like uh, like like he said the the fact that he has those double canyons that, those are pretty cool and you know that they are the ones that uh, you gotta you gotta worry about at the beginning so um, it is it is different it's faster pace for me that's what we had noticed faster pace the way you develop the troops on the laboratory faster the way you um, develop or build things faster the way the troops are coming out faster um, so that's those are the things that we have noticed. So there, there's a few things that I really enjoy. Do you think it's it's uh, some people were mentioning that it's like Clash of Clans? Uh, I mean like Clash Royale. Do you, do you think it looks like Clash Royale in any way? No, I don't really think it's related because this is way faster paced than Clash Royale because Clash Royale you have to keep playing games just to earn chests and get cards. And those chests can take like an hour to two just to open one just to get cards which is very difficult cool so um i never played clash royale so i couldn't tell you anything about that uh, i never really was able to get into it but um what what do you like about this update what do you like mostly about the new base the night uh, base what what is that what is there that you really enjoy well number one i like how the research laboratory especially the new abilities for the troops and faster upgrading because the daytime it would take really long just to upgrade them just to level four and get get them to a good level. Cool, and that's true, and that's one thing I really enjoyed. I I like that I could almost get attack after attack going on. Um, I got I got a little bit busy in the afternoon, so I, I couldn't continue. But I got to 700 um, trophies just over, and it was it was pretty quick. It was pretty fast and it was really enjoyable that things were going faster. Another thing that you that you have, um, uh, we hadn't mentioned before, even preparing for this video is the fact that you don't have to worry about um, having loot to build the, the troops. That is pretty sweet. I like it. You don't worry about that. If you spend everything to build something, you don't worry about the troops. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, but Valenzuela, what do you dislike from this update? What I mostly dislike is the time cap. You have to wait 24 hours just because you have three wins and they want to limit how much suit you get. That is very disappointing that I don't like. I wish they could make it like somewhere like 12 to 6 hours. That would be better timing. But what they do just to make it better are the collectors. They make lots of loot for you. But still, that's okay because the collectors can help you out a lot. Yeah, exactly. And it's... it's that's one of the things it's um it was it was tough 
it was tough um, having to wait to build anything and not getting any loot when you were winning the battles. Um, getting all those trophies but no no loot whatsoever. That was, that was a little bit weird. I, did, I didn't like it. They have to wait 24 hours to get any loot to build anything else. Then that's that's not cool. Um, I didn't enjoy that part. But I guess I can see that uh, you got to slow down the, the game. So otherwise it will burn out really fast and there will not be no fun nothing else to do um so th those are the things that you have to um that i would like to change a little bit uh, at least make it cheaper to um list gems that you need to pay to um, be able to get that so that would be one thing um the other thing we want to um, talk about is what what attacks what defense of uh, um uh, strategies do you do you like how so far how so far you base how so, um, how has it worked well what i do is i put my at least defense in each corner and have the town hall in the middle so what happens in the corners is that they they will get fooled to go through the corners and i'll have traps that will mostly destroy them like the bombs or the string trap that will send them black back Flying, flying, which gives the time for cannons to kill them. Yeah, defense-wise, I, I like my base. Um, I think I've been getting a good um, defense rate at about uh, about 50%. If it if I get just archers or just um, barbs or combinations of barbs and archers, that, most of the time I can defend and I get three star. When I get giants, I also like it because. If they start in the north, they, the Giants will go around and have to get the defense that is on the bottom. And that will really slow and slow them down enough to be able to uh, get shot by the double cannon. I really enjoy that, um, see, seeing how that's been performing. Uh, but when it comes to troops, I since the beginning, I noticed that the Giants were very powerful. I got them up to level 2 on the research laboratory first. That was my number one troop. Um, I've been attacking with four, four giants since the beginning, and I can say that I'm easily winning 85% of those um, of those attacks as long as they don't have a box um, defend in the middle, just like the one I have here. If they have something like this, it's gonna be trouble. I've been having an issue with that. Um, I've been also leaving those corner corner places to or corner things to be able to uh, slow down their attacks but if they if they sometimes use something like um, like a good combination of high archers and giants they still smash everything down so I, I like this so let's look at your base in I mean let's look at your at your troops and see what what you're using what are you using for your troops I see you got for level four barbs level four Arches, what, what sort of combination are you using? So what I do is I do four barbs and four archers. What I do is I like how the archers use the cloaking. So they become invisible. So it's so you have time to take out like double cannons, arch towers, and cannons. And then the, barbarian, the barbarians, you can use them just to take out everything or have that to take out that one defense you have left. Which is a good combination. Like you said, the giants are very powerful and they're easier, so that's why you're higher trophies than me. Okay, so in, in recap, um, now that we talked about just about most most of what we um, what we seen on the first day, in recap, what do you think about this update? Well, I definitely like how this is a fast-paced game, and you map you you like can max things out very easily, but. Uh, I would, one thing I would change would be the max loot cap. Uh, I would make it where it was cheaper in gems so you can not have to wait those 24 hours. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. I do I do know what you're saying. I definitely um, got pretty bumped uh, from the beginning to uh, when I saw something like that. It's, I, I kind of get it, but um, I, wish, I wish it wasn't 24 hours. I wish it was less. Or... or Finding a different way to get all that. Uh, maybe, maybe we're wrong. Maybe we don't. Know. There's a different way. Maybe as we move up, there'll be uh, more more um, options. But since you you guys out there, just let us know. Let us know what we're uh, what we're looking at wrong or what we're missing there. Um, but 
YouTube, we're checking out. We're um, calling it a night in just letting you guys know how we felt about this update. And hopefully you guys um, give us some comments and some good um, feedback to, to see how other people are enjoying this, uh, this new update. Peace out.